inside the store, the employees are ordered to face the wall and kneel down. They are bound with zip ties, belts, and rope. And they actually stripped us down out of our clothing, out of our shirts, so that they could use them to wear as like cover. Then, the gunman ordered the store manager to open the safe, which they quickly emptied. But we had not made a deposit in three or four days, so we had large amounts of cash in the safe. They take more than $70,000. The others split out. They're going to the gun department to retrieve the guns. They had already been inside shopping, so they had their clothes, their boots, their sleeping bags, their camping material. They also steal the manager's Ford Explorer and move it to the rear of the store. They begin to load up the stolen loot. Officer Hawkins pulls up behind the store just as the thieves are exiting through the freight doors. Suddenly, gunshots drown out the stone cold silence inside. I was just praying that it was, it was police. Because if it was the police, that means help was on the way. Michael has no idea that Officer Aubrey Hawkins has come under intense fire. It was absolutely an ambush. He never has a chance to take out his gun. He never has a chance to return fire. Officer Hawkins is hit 11 times. Immediately, the attackers pile into the stolen explorer and attempt to flee. But Aubrey Hawkins' patrol car is in their way. One of the 